Well, there's an eight absolute value inequalities, techniques number four. You have to solve the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is less than or equal to the absolute value of x minus 2. Now, I'm going to use two methods here. The first one, the graphical method and the square root method. The conditional method is you could use, but it's it's quite involved and, uh, and not really necessary. And at this, this stage here, the graphical method and the square root method are about the same. You'll see why as we go through it. Okay, so the graphical method, what we'll do, we'll draw a little graph of these things first. And I'm going to put in now first one is y1 equals the absolute value of 2x plus 1. Now that'll be 0 when x equals minus a half, and it's fairly steep going up like that. And please don't be too accurate with this, that's just going to help you. Now on this side, this branch here, we've got y equals. 2x plus 1, and this side we've got y equals minus 2x minus 1. And we'll draw the other one, y2 equals absolute value of x minus 2. It'll uh, touch the x-axis at 2, so we're over here somewhere. And it'll be not as steep, so it's going to go through somewhere like this. Okay, and we've got two points for this section there. And this one is y equals x minus 2. And this one here on this side is y equals minus x plus 2. Now, what we need to do is we need to find these points of intersection here. This one and this one over here. The way I've drawn it, it may not be on this side, it could be anywhere, but we'll find out where it is when we solve them simultaneously. Okay, so we're going to take uh, this, this point here first. We'll call that point A. So for point A, we've got the, this branch here, right, which is y equals minus x plus 2, and the other one, y equals this branch on this side, 2x plus 1. So 2x plus 1 equals minus x plus 2. So 3x equals 1. x equals a third. So it wasn't on this side, it was on here. So that was a third. And the other one, b, we've got y equals same thing. That's minus x plus 2. Okay, but we're on the other branch here. And y equals minus 2x minus 1. Solving those, we get minus 2x minus 1 equals minus x plus 2. Take this across, we get minus 6 is equal to 3. So x equals negative 3 down here. Negative 3 here. Now, this one here is your y1. And this is your y2. So y1 has got to be less than y2. The y values must be less than y2. So here, the y values are less or so underneath this one in this region here. So the solution is that x must lie between minus 3 equal to or one third. All right. Okay, the square root method. This is probably the only occasion where the square root method is the preferred technique, only because it's a bit shorter. And the reason is because the absolute values are positive on both sides. So by squaring both sides, you won't be affecting anything at all. So we'll just uh, replace that. We'll replace that with the square root of 2x plus 1 all squared. It's less than or equal to square root of x minus 2 all squared. Squaring both sides, we get 2x plus 1 all squared is less than or equal to x minus 2 all squared. Now you could remove the brackets, but it's not necessary. You can take this across the other side. Less than or equal to 0. Now, using the difference of two squares technique, we'll have 2x plus 1 
plus x minus 2 and 2x plus 1. Now minus, just make sure you be careful with the signs here, minus x plus 2 is less than equal to 0. This becomes on this side 3x minus 1. And this side becomes x plus 3. Less than equal to 0. Now we have a little quadratic inequality. The critical values are the zeros being at minus 3 and 1 third. We draw our little schematic parabola there. And we see it's negative here. So x must lie between minus 3 and a third as before.